everyone. Welcome back to PJ's Cat Class. I was looking on the Mr. Google and looking at those uh, sweet potato and find out this uh, very beautiful form. So today we're going to model a sweet potato. A lot of times um, in the rhino or in cat, people will have impression, say this is more of a geometric, but rhino can actually do really uh, organic form. So I'm going to use a sweet potato and use a few comments to show you how can we build this really organic form. The command we're going to use today is the loft, uh, which can create the basic form. But if you want to modify it, we want to use a little bit more advanced. Uh, the command is called curve from cross section profile. And then we're going to use a curve network to creating the surface. If we want to do any editing, um, make sure each of the sweet potato is slightly different. We want to rebuild the curve and move the control point to get different variation. Okay, here we go. First of all, I'm going to build a profile of sweet potato. So now we are looking at the top view. I'm going to use the uh, curve tool. And to be exact, I make sure my uh, grid snap is on. So that way I was snapping into the right point. Um, since this is organic form, I'm just going to build whatever it look like a sweet potato. OK, so that's one of the profile from the top view. And you can make it as organic as you want to. All right, so that's two curve. Let's look at a perspective. They stick with a C plane, which is construction plane. Now I'm going to the front view. And again, I'm going to use the curve tool. Uh, make sure I'm snapping into the end point. And I'm going to create something look like this. OK, and then I'm going to, to make sure it's going to be solid, uh, we need to make sure they are snapping into the end point. So that way, in the perspective, this is four curves that we have. They all start to the end point exactly the same. OK. Next, we have two ways to build it. Let me show you an easy way to do it. You can use the loft, uh, which is living under your uh, surface tool. It's right here, loft. Or you can go to the menu, go to the surface. The second one will be loft. OK, when you choose those curve, make sure you choose by the order. You don't want to jump. OK, let me show you what happened if you jump. You go first one and the third one and the second one and the fourth one. Then you're going to get really weird surface. This is not what we want. We want to make sure you go by the order. So go one, two, three and four. You click it. Uh, what happened here uh, is because we have an option in our uh, pop-up window. Right here, make sure you click Close Loft. Then you preview. That will be your sweet potato. Okay. Uh, look, this is really organic form. It's completely solid, perfect um, for printing. I'm going to move it here. And I want to create something. Because a potato, they have a lot of like dipping, uh, uneven surface. This one look really fine and smooth. And I want, I do want to have some texture looking things. So now I'm gonna hide this temporary, and then I'm going to use the command. Is it leaving under the surface tool right here? It's called curve from cross section profile. So what we wanted to do is we pick up this comment, um, which is here. And then you need to select in order. So make sure you go 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, nothing happened. We go into the top view or the front view. Either one will be fine. What you wanted to do, you want to draw a line. OK, you hit Enter first, and then you want to draw a line. Whatever you draw. That become the cross section. You can do as close as you want, as many as you want, because we are going to use those lines to edit our point. Now look at the perspective. I have those cross section that happen in between those four curves I draw earlier. All right. 
Now, what we like to do, record history because we want to able to edit. So before I hit anything, record history here on the bottom. And then I'm going to go into surface and curve network. It's really simple. I'm just going to select all of them, hit enter. And you want to, you can preview if you like to. And by comparison with the first one that we have, this is actually really close. But what's different, I'm going to hide this one back and turn it into the ghost view. But what's different, ooh, so dark. Let me make it uh, like red color. It's still dark. Uh, let me make it pink color. All right. OK, so what we can do is we can pick up any of the curve and we hit F10 or you can turn it on the control point. Now I have those four point. What happened is any point that I move, the surface will move with it, right? But I need a lot more control point instead of just four or five there. So what I need to do is rebuild. Okay, I'm going to pick up this curve and hit rebuild. And I want to have a lot more point. So let's say 16. I hit OK. Then I turn on my control point. Then if I'm moving that going in, you can see that become a dip there. So you can do the same thing with the rest of the curve. And you can pull and up and down. And so you will have something really organic natural form all right i hope you like this tutorial and i will see you next time thank you